Hi guys and welcome to another beer review. Uh, today we've got a beer from Eichhofner and uh, yeah this is their Hopfengarten which is a Merzen beer that's uh, cold hopped and uh, this is basically to celebrate the anniversary of the Reinheitsgebot, um, a topic I've talked about lightly um, on the channel. Some German brewers really celebrate it uh, but some of the more you know craftier brewers, um, they kind of they have a distaste for it because having purity laws that are set obviously hinders experiment experimental beers and uniqueness and that sort of thing. But some brewers have created some fantastic beers within those you know confinements. And uh, yeah, anyway, won't get into it. I'm sure any German viewers will have their thoughts and opinions. And by that, I mean. I don't even think I've got any German viewers right now, or subscribers. But today it's the Hopfengarten, and uh, I unfortunately missed the tasting event for this one, which was held at Beretta, and I picked this up from Beretta at the one year anniversary. So I'll be putting information down below, but I have written a few things down, um, just about the beer itself. Um, it's stored for six weeks in a Felsenkeller, which I think that the literal translation that I've got off like an online dictionary uh, was rock cave. So I'm not sure if it's uh, specifically about the stone or it's the environment itself. Um, I'm sure there'll be information in some of the links down below that goes into a little bit more detail. But it's basically like stored for six weeks and then after that it's cold hop for 12 days with Magnum, Halatau Tradition. Tetnung hops, can't even read my own writing, and mosaic. So it sounds fairly interesting and it reminds me already of um, Rana Broy's um, Merzen that they did, which is like a pale ale cross with a Merzen. Really intriguing beer, so hopefully this will be just as good, if not better, because I'm looking forward to this one. So beer in a in the bottle and it's a see-through bottle um, even though it's cloudy it's got that cloudy effect which I do like um, I do like frosted glass uh, bet you never thought you'd ever hear me say that in a beer review but uh, but yeah it looks good it looks intriguing and it's probably because of the frosted glass but it looks actually quite pale uh, especially in this light so anyway uh, let's get it opened and I should really open it here so you can see the smoke directly because by the time I've brought it up the smoke's dissipated and the movement that I've done just makes the smoke disappear quicker. Quickly? Quicker. So using my uh, Eichhofner glass, or Eichhofner glass I should say, and yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, um, the carbonation, I can pick it up. Uh, but you're probably hearing some bubbling, and that's because we're doing ourselves a um, onion soup. So that should be nice. I never used to be the biggest fan of onions, but onion soup, I love the flavour you get from it. So I think this is like an unpasteurised and naturally cloudy beer, so I'll put the gunk in as well. And beer in a glass, and that's a nice hazy, but still slightly clear, uh, sort of like a pale brown, maybe some slight orangey hints in there, but yeah really nice carbonation, nice and smooth looking carbonation, and speaking of smooth, that head looks really nice and smooth, and for some reason I'm shaking like a motherfucker right now, uh, but yeah, beer poured with about one finger's worth of smooth fluffy white head, maybe slightly off white, but um, yeah, it's obviously a bit darker in the glass as opposed to the bottle. So on the aroma, and I'm instantly getting that Merzen slash Oktoberfest beer aroma. It's got a malty character right up there, that's the main thing that you're picking up. It's like a smooth malty sort of aroma. There's a very slight woodiness in the background. It's got a little bit of dankness there. And I don't know if I'm picking up 
that many hops on the aroma. It's not really hop forward on uh, the sniff. Maybe like a slight sherbetty sort of vibe. But it smells good. It smells like a really good example of a Merzen. So let's hope it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. You don't pick up the hops on the aroma, but you sure get those hops in the taste. And you're picking up that malt character as well, which is you know natural because it's a maltier brew. But yeah, it's got like a it's not a heavy mouthfeel, but it's got like a nice, almost creamy sort of mouthfeel to it. But not too heavy and not creamy as in like a, a classic bitter uh, that you get back in England. But yeah, it got that nice, like, sherbetty hoppiness as well. Maybe like sherbet lemon in the background. It's there, but it's not too pronounced. It's not bang in your face. It's not really zesty. And you do get that really nice hop bitterness. Um, out of the hops that they've used, the only one that I'm more familiar with is that mosaic. And I don't think I've had a beer with a mosaic hop for a while, so I can't really compare. But you are picking up those hops on the flavour. Not too much. It doesn't detract from the Mertzen style. You can tell that it's a Mertzen. It's got that nice, it's got like a roastiness to it as well. But there's no sharp flavours there. It's a really nicely balanced, easy drinking, smooth beer. And it's definitely a Mertzen that I've never tasted before, if you get what I mean. It's, um, it's definitely got its own little character there. But yeah, very nice beer indeed. And clocking in at 5.5%, so, you know, very sessionable. And you can see on the, the glass bottle itself, look at all that that's stuck to the inside of the glass. Really, really nice. I really, really like this. And it does have those celebratory vibes to it. Um, and it's a great way to celebrate the Reinheitsgebot, no matter which side of the fence you sit on, because a good beer is a good beer, and this is a great little beer. And I'm actually, as the beer's cooling down and getting more to room temperature, maybe like a lime sort of character from the hops is coming through. But yeah, there's actually, there's a lot going on there without too much going on if you get what I mean. It's got it's nice com it's got its nice complexities, it's robust, but there's no real domineering flavours and it just works really well together. This is a really, really nice brew and uh, I could see this being very popular um, outside of Germany. Fantastic stuff. I really can't fault it too much. So it's an easy 9 out of 10 from me. Um, Ike Hoffner, a great little brewery here in Germany. Well, I'll say little, it's a fairly well established and um, traditional brewery. But they've got like um, their take on a lager beer, which isn't their hell, it's like in their little small manufacturer line that they've got. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this beer. I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, I wanted to do this beer. Um, relatively fresh in terms of me buying it because I didn't really want those potential hop characters to die down and um, yeah a fantastic beer if you get to try it definitely do yourself a favor and try it because it's a great little brew so that's my review of Eichhoffner's uh, Hopfengarten a fantastic little beer indeed if you want to find out more about the brewery in this beer links will be down below excuse me Check out my Mertzen slash Oktoberfest beer review playlist down below. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, 
subscribe for more beer reviews and uh, yeah if you've tried this beer let me know your thoughts and opinions what's your favorite mouth and what's your favorite Oktoberfest beer what's your favorite German beer just hit me in the comments and uh, yeah I hope you'll join me for the next beer review cheers guys and I shall see you later